up guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna show you how you can recreate the social media bars that Gabriella Marie did on her birthday blog so basically this is how it looks they pop up and it says my Twitter and she types in her name she also created one for her Instagram basically the same thing she just changed the little logo of Twitter into Instagram so I found a way to recreate this and I want to show it with you guys so the first thing you want to do is go to your Twitter. You're going to want to screenshot this little area right here because I cannot find a perfect um, image that she uses. So this is the closest thing you can find. So what you want to do is screenshot. For a Mac, when you screenshot, it is a Command Shift 4. And this will pop up. You're going to want to go around and snap it so after we have our picture we are going to go to pick monkey and you're gonna go design so what you're gonna do here is your canvas color you can do the transparent apply and then you're just gonna drag that picture that you had so you're going to open computer, oops, cancels, sorry, go to your butterfly, your own, and you're going to find where we just screenshotted that picture. Okay, so this is what we have. So you see in my picture that shows. So we're going to actually take that out. I'm just going to use this. You don't have to. If you get it perfect, then you don't have to do this step. This is because I tend to capture it when that thing is on. And I just want to show y'all um, how y'all can get rid of it. So this is how you get rid of it. What I recommend is try to get it as big as you can. It just makes it easier. Okay, so that's fine. I'm going to save this. Okay, take it here to Okay, now you're going to go to your keynote. You're going to go, you're going to add your image. Okay, so this is your image. It's kind of clear. Have this down here. Then you're going to insert a shape. I would have just a basic. I would send to back. You're going to go to style, you're going to change the fill color to white. Okay, then you just want to kind of align it to where... Okay. So, the next thing you want to do is go find your little clicker. So, we're going to go back to Safari, type in cruiser. Cursor, sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. Image, then you're going to get whichever one. This one looks more like it, so this is the one you're going to want to save. I already saved it for the purposes of this video. Then you're going to want to go and get your arrow clicker PNG. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so this one has a white background. This is the one that I chose. So I saved it. Then you're going to go back. Okay, you come back to Keynote. What you want to do is add your text. So here I'm going to put my Twitter. I'm going to change the color to a grayish. Oops. To like a grayish color. And then make my text smaller. Move it here and then bring down the opacity to something like that. Then you're going to add your two cruisers. So so you're going to go to where it says text again and you're going to add your at me. At 
Eve underscore underscore 82. This is going to be your black. So here, black, and then turn down this. And it's going to look like that. So now, you're going to go to animations. Okay, guys, so I won't like mix y'all all up. I went ahead and did the transitions already, and I would just tell you exactly where or what you have to do. So the first step is to group this square right here and this section in the middle. So what you're going to do is click one, put shift, then click the other one. Then you're going to right click, and then you're going to hit the group part. I already did it, so that's why it's not uh, popping up. So after that, that's when you start adding all your transitions. So I'm going to go to my build order so I can go through each one, one by one. So the group is basically the square and the circle search bar. So that you're going to put as number one. You're going to put start after transition, no delay. So you're going to have it as built in up here. And then the next thing you want to do is where you're going to click on your text that says my Twitter, which is the gray part. You're going to do the same uh, built in. So you're going to have the built-in up here and then have it with built to, with no delay. After that, you want to have your cruiser. Your cruiser is going to actually be right there next to this little, um, like, typing thing. So, yeah, I don't know the name for it. Sorry, guys. So, anyways, that's where you're going to have it. And then you're going to have the built-in as move-in. You're going to change it from, um, from what it says to... Right, bottom right to top left okay and then um, the duration and direction you're gonna have it for one second so that's gonna be after built to then you're gonna have your built out your built out for the same uh, cruiser you're gonna have it as disappear then you're gonna touch your uh, my Twitter section and then your built out is going to be disappear so the next thing is this little icon the typing icon that one has to be set real fast so basically it's going to appear and then disappear so you're going to go to oh by the way this one's with built for so here is with built for also so you're going to have that and then it's going to be action appear then you're going to have it's built out real quick so you're going to have that after built six with no delay and it's just a, a disappear then lastly what you want to do is start um sorry guys so the next thing you want to do is have a built in for your text and what you want it uh to have is that typewriter feeding so like basically it looks like you're typing it so you're gonna have your built in as typewriter I would recommend putting the duration and direction as 1.5 seconds and then it will be after built 7. So after that you're going to want, and this is where it kind of varies and depends on you personally. So I want my delay to be 1.75 seconds. So that means it's going to appear and you have 1.75 seconds to look at it before it disappears. So the built out is going to be disappear and it's going to be set right after pre, uh, built 8. So basically, this is how it looks. Okay, so that's how you have that. You can either decide to save it like that. It's basically up to you. If you want to add an icon, you can. I'll go ahead and add mine. It doesn't have to be exactly like hers. Like I have my um, preference of the circle one. Like look, It looks like that. So I have it, I think, in my downloads. Right. So I have that. You can have it like that. It's basically up to you. Um, she doesn't have this one, so I don't. It's up to you. So you can move it there or anywhere. Basically, it's up to you. I think I'll probably save it there. So make sure that you have your built-in up here. And then your built out disappear. 
and then just drag it to the front. I would put it with the group, right under the group. Oops. After transition. Oops. Okay, so it's right here. And then the built out, I would have it when you have your group build out. So basically, you have to add a build out here. Okay, so disappear with 11. So, let's see, oops, sorry. You have to make sure that it does it um, with build 10. So preview, retyping. You can have it like that. It's up to you. Um, but that's basically how you do it. If you want to do the Instagram, then basically if you have this already set up, all you would have to do is go to your text. You're going to go to, oops, where is it at? to text and then just basically change your what it says in there. And then the same thing for where it says... Um, your name, your Twitter, whatever, you would just change it to like my Instagram. So basically, um, that's how you make this. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, again, this is basically a run through of all the animations in the order that it's in. So I'm just clicking through them one last time so that you guys will know. And then when you save it, you will go to File, Export to, then you would do QuickTime. I usually set this 5 and 5 just because it gives me a little room to play with it and mess with it when I do my editing. Editing and then save it to 1080. And that's basically how you do it. Change it to whatever you want. And yeah guys, so if this was very helpful, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And check out all my other green screen videos if you enjoyed anything remotely to this. And look at my other videos that are just basically random videos. So yeah, guys, I love you all. Thanks for all the support that I have. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.